thank you so much because you are the Lord, you are the King of Kings, the Master of Storm. We worship you, Lord. Father, we come today, today, today O Lord, showing appreciation for all you have been doing in our life and for souls that you are winning. And for despite that is happening in the world, you still kept such saints that have not defied themselves with the things of the world that are actually mindful of where they are spending eternity. Today, we are looking at communication without corruption. We are looking at sowing the seed, sowing in the spirit to the spirit so that we reap eternal life. God, teach us today as we are doing this soul intercessory prayer. Do not just be mere letters, but the Holy Spirit will interpret the word into our heart I will never remain the same again. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're welcome to this soul intercessory prayer that uh, take place in the United States Eastern Time by 3 p.m. on Sundays. God allow you, you can find a way to reach us and talk to us. And the Lord, in His merciful way, will grant you the opportunity to hear to learn and to communicate well to people that don't understand the truth. Let's go to the study in Galatians chapter 6 because to pray effectively the word is important, essential. It's the word, the entrance of the word that giveth life. The word I speak unto you, their spirit and their life. So when you pray with the word, you pray with understanding and you pray your prayer acceptably and answers come speedily. Let's go to Galatians chapter 6. I read from 6 to 9. Please uh, just uh, make sure that your Bible is by your side and you are opening it and checking, looking at it, uh, that you want to benefit from the things that is eternal. Now, Galatians chapter 6, 6 to 9. The topic today is communicating well by sowing to the Spirit communicating when you communicate you can actually call it so many names but let's read before we go into even the uh, teaching and before as we are preparing it to pray that God went so through me as I communicate as I distribute distribute as I share with them they will understand the word of the kingdom and none of the souls will remain the same again let's look at Galatians 6 verse 6 to 9 let him that is taught in the world communicate unto him that teaches in all things you are you are taught and you are communicating you are distributing the meaning of that communication there is actually sharing if you look at the word of god and if you look at the where it comes is called koinonium and that is sharing distributing hallelujah this is to the needs of those who are lacking who don't understand the kingdom who does not the word of god in verse 7 be not deceived God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sweareth, that shall also reap. For he that sweareth to, to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sweareth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Mark that word, sweareth to the spirit reap life everlasting. Verse 9 Let us not be weary in well doing. If you are sharing the word, if you are preaching the word, if you are telling the truth, if you are going around, tell people about Jesus Christ, don't be weary, don't be tired. For in due season, we shall live if we faint not. Hallelujah. Let those who are actually sick say, I'm strong. Those who are weak say, I'm strong. No weariness. Three points we are going to look at today. As we have seen, as we are seen, communicating well by sowing to the Spirit. Pray this prayer before we go. Got this uh, soul intercession prayer. God, Lord, I pray. Father, I call upon your holy name. Give me the grace to come to communicate and to share and to distribute to the necessity of those who need and doing it well. Praying in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I pray, help us to distribute well, to teach well, to share well. Lord, so that we do it effectively and so shall come to the kingdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we are going to see three points today in our uh, study. One, learners of the world communicating well. Number two, leading well in communication of the word. Then the last prayer point is let go, willingness. Let go, let willingness go. Let go, willingness as Christians 
warrior. Hallelujah. A warrior must not be tired or weary because we are our strength in the Lord. Because when, when we look at the word of God, the Bible has said it will give power to the weak. Hallelujah. Strengthen us the more. Faith of God strengthen us. We will not be wearied in Jesus' name. So let's go to the first uh, prayer particular category. Learners of the word communicating well. You know what I like that word? Learners. Students. Those who want to be taught. Look at the word of God in verse 6. That is Galatians 6. 6. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all things. Look, that, look at the You are taught and people want to teach. So you need to teach them. Communicate it. Share it. I told you in the that word that we are looking at is koino neo. From where I come, that is sharing. You come together, you share the truth. That's where I come from. Sharing, distributing it. So that means the word you have, you distribute it well. So I pray the Lord in His own way, He will help us. Say, so let Him that is taught in the word communicate unto Him that teacheth in all good things. Mark that word. That's why we said. Learners of the word communicating well in a good manner, you communicate as the Bible says, Jesus did all things well. You are following his step and doing what he has done. Second Timothy, we look at in chapter 3. Second Timothy, chapter 3, I read from 14 to 17. But continue down in the things which thou have learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou have learned them. Please don't don't be make a mistake. Where is the what is the source of your knowledge? Any source of Christ is not supposed to be taken seriously. And how do we know it's from Christ? Holiness is the key. Righteousness, truth. Lack of lack of holiness. No arrogance. No no self-centeredness. Heavenly mindedness. So how do you know the word that we are taught? Know who you learn them. And that from a, a child thou hast known the holy scripture, not just scripture, holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. This one is telling us the essence of being learned in Christ in the word of God is for salvation. Salvation is when you know you are commit you have actually been born in sin. Not even the physical thing you've done, but because you are conceived and born in sin. And you realize yourself when they say, Jesus can save me. And you give your life to you. Have you done it? If you are not, you can't even preach the gospel. You can't tell others about it. When you are in sin, how can you tell others to come out of sin? Unrighteousness, evil, and everything pervert and perverse. And it will actually con it constitute your life, your model, your system. How can you tell others about Jesus Christ? Think about it. Now, let's look at it in verse 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture, and that ye are able to which are able to make you wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. 16 to 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profited for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good work hallelujah can you see that so actually the essence of actually reading word is that you make us perfect look at it with god all things are possible jesus said be perfect so we are looking at perfection if you didn't start in salvation you can't get your heart sanctified and you know how the spirit that make perfection to come out you can't get it you start a journey with christ who died for our sins and gave his death for us so that you yourself can go out there and communicate well look at uh second timothy chapter 2 i read from verse 1 unto 2. Second Timothy 2, 1 to 2. Thou, thou, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ. And the things which thou hast heard, you learn it, you heard it of me among many witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men. Teach well, communicate well to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Hallelujah. Let's go to the second point without wasting time. If you have any question, you can call me. I read from Genesis, Galatians, again, chapter 6, from 7 to 8. And what we are looking at is leading well in communication of the word. Leading well. Being a good example. Now, be not deceived. God is no more. Whatsoever a man sweat, that shall he reap. What you sow, you reap. He said in that place, and let us not be the, for he that sweat of this flesh shall of this flesh reap corruption, but he that sweat of the spirit shall of the spirit reap eternal life. Hallelujah! Leading well, 
we are leading them to eternal life. So lead well. Leading and communicating the word of God well. And that shows where are you going? Because he said, He that swear to the spirit of this of the spirit reap life everlasting. That's the essence. It's not that you communicate and you lose heaven. Lead well. Be an example. Be somebody who is going where you are going. Is the is, is in the master's place where Jesus Christ is waiting in the mansion in heaven. Are you going there? If you are going there, then what happened? What is what what happened? That means you want to take others there. But if you are not going there, you just be talking theories. You don't know where you are going. You don't have a purpose. You don't have a focus. You don't have a vision. The vision you have is worldly, and the vision we are talking about is heavenly. You can match it together. You have to actually surrender to the owner of the vision of heaven before you can go to him with him to the kingdom. Let's look at the word of God in First Timothy. First Timothy chapter six. I read by the great God from eighteen today. Look at it and open your Bible with me. First Timothy chapter 6, I read from 18. The Bible says that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate. Can you see? Now, you, that's what you lead the way. You are ready. You are prepared to distribute and to communicate. Laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may lay hold on eternal life you see it again you are leading the life that is eternal life eternal life based and bound that god will help us in jesus the 20. oh timothy keep that which is committed to thy trust keep it don't run don't don't throw it away don't trash it don't don't trample upon it avoid profane and vain babblings and opposition of science firstly Firstly, so called, you see, so that those people who are using science and scientists and not this kind of theory that they want to actually put my Jesus at the back, don't follow them. He said, Oh, Timothy, he called his name, he's calling you, calling me, calling you. He said, Oh, Timothy, he's calling you. When you are specific, calling people's name is important. He called his name, say, Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoid profane and vain babbling and opposition of science. Uh, firstly, so called verse 21, which all which some profess have heard concerning the faith. Grace be with thee, amen. Hallelujah. Grace be with thee, amen. Hallelujah. So, grace of the Lord will see us through as we are leading. So, let's know that what we have received, we communicate well in the word of God. And let's go to the life, the last point as we are preparing to pray. Pray to be a leader that actually is communicating well and sowing unto the spirit. Because what you sow, you reap. If you sow to the flesh, corruption. If you sow in the spirit, eternal life. Eternal life is very important. Corruption is in hell. And anybody that sowed to the flesh, go to hellfire. Whether it's corruption, eternal corruption. No remedy again. No redemption again. This is the time of your redemption. If you don't have the key, to the kingdom. If you don't have the highs of the kingdom, if you don't have the willingness to get to the kingdom, this is a time of change. A time to change, a time to actually turn around and come to Christ. If I'm, as many as call upon the Lord shall be saved. When you are saved, then you can point the way of salvation to other people. But if you are not saved, you cannot point anybody to anywhere. You are not, if you are not saved, you don't understand the word, you will blind leaders of the blind. And they both will fall into a ditch. Don't follow people. Don't teach the word until you come to Christ. Until you know the truth. And that's why you will see, when you are know the truth, your heart is sanctified. Holy Spirit come there and direct you uh, as he wants to make you to be winners and wish, winners of souls. And I pray we shall be winning souls right from today more than ever in Jesus' name. The last point, prayer point is, let go witness as Christians, warriors. Hallelujah. I like that word. Let's look at verse um, verse uh, 9 in Galatians 6, 9. And let us not be weary in welding, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. Look at that consolation message. Let go, let go witness as Christian warriors. Are you a warrior? Let's look at 2 Timothy. Open your Bible with me, please. 2 Timothy chapter Two, and I read from verse 3 on to 6. Don't forget warriors. Don't forget avoid weariness. Don't faint in your heart. Don't faint in your mind. Don't be tired. Don't be weary until I come. Until Jesus come. It's, it's only those who are dear and dear to the end that shall be saved. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 2. I read from verse 3 on to 6. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Christ. No man that worried entirely himself with the affairs of this life, he that, that he may please him who had chosen him 
to be a soldier, a warrior. You please your commander. You please your leader. You please your your your, your general, who is God, who is Jesus. And he said, go into the world and preach this. So don't mind their faces. Don't mind whatever they say, whatever they do. You hold on to truth and righteousness and the faith of the Lord. And the Lord will see you through in Jesus' name. And if a man also strive for masteries, yet is not crowned, except he strive lovely. Hallelujah. It's not crown. No crown until we do it according to the law. Are you ready for heaven? Are you praying that you get to heaven? Are you praying for that? Are you calling others? We're going to pray, Lord, Heavenly Father, I want to communicate well into the Spirit so that we reach eternal life. And I want to bring others, this to their necessity so that they will be saved and come to Christ. Pray. Father, we thank you so much for today for you have helped us to be alive and to hear the word and communicate well and distribute so that others will go with us to heaven too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.